What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the first day of my journey across the country where I'll be moving from Durham, North Carolina to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, so this will probably be about a three day trip, maybe two, depending on how tired I get along the way. Um, but so far we're off to a good start. I really haven't recorded that much yet. Uh, just with packing yesterday, it was very hectic. I had my, my mom and sister over to help and I didn't want to you know, be wasting their time to go stop and film. Um, but obviously picked up the U-Haul, said goodbye to my apartment. I'm definitely gonna miss it here, but I have some great opportunities waiting in Vegas. Here's us in the, the middle of packing. I had most of it done already, but um, just needed their help with the kitchen. The U-Haul finally fully loaded and Logan looking exhausted after the full day of loading. This is when we are finally finished. Uh, completely empty apartment. It looked really weird seeing it without you know all the furniture in there. And this is the truck and trailer setup that we got going. This is uh, the first rest stop. Uh, I actually rented a, a 15 foot U-Haul, um, but for some reason they gave me a, a 20 foot when I showed up, um, which is way, way more space than I need, way bigger of a truck than I would have wanted. Uh, much harder to drive, but you know, it is what it is. I booked a month in advance and they still couldn't get the right truck, but um, they charged me for the 15 at least, so I guess just got a bigger truck for free. Uh, it's been a little stressful so far, but being on the highway, it's not bad. You know, you just gotta keep it between the lines. I'm a little scared to exit and get gas. Um, just with the turning radius and stuff, it could be a little tricky to maneuver. Um, so I'll have to figure that out, but it should be fine. So I'm still in North Carolina, about to cross into Tennessee, hoping to make it all the way to Tennessee um, before night. But the drive's been great so far. Weather is beautiful. A little hot, but you know, it's nice and sunny, which is which is what you want for a long drive. It's cool to see the different parts of North Carolina. Right now I'm in sort of the, the rural mountains area. But yeah, I just stopped here to use the bathroom real quick and about to get back on the road. Let me just give you a quick uh, point of view. There's not much, it's a pretty old truck. I got the whole floor loaded with snacks and then just my two bags right here. Um, but yeah, like I said, about to hit the road again and try to make it all the way through Tennessee before nightfall. So I just went up this massive mountain uh, as you can see, we're coming down it now, but I used like a ton of gas to get up it. So the problem is we're, we got about a, a, a quarter of a tank left. Um, so hopefully we find some gas station up here soon, one that's easy on, easy off. Uh, if not, we'll see what we can do. And then yeah, next rest stop I see, I'm gonna stop there, take a quick break, check the trailer, and then get back on the road again. All right, guys. So I just found gas. Thankfully, this is exactly what I was looking for. The highway's right there. Easy on, easy off. So as you saw, I crossed the Tennessee border. Uh, I'm at another rest stop now. One thing I notice is there are so many of the new Corvettes that they don't even like, it's a good looking car, but they're just so common that I feel like they're not as cool anymore. Also another thing I noticed, there are so many U-Hauls on the road too. Maybe it's, I just never looked for them before, but um, now that I'm in one, I'm like, you know, keeping my eyes peeled. Like, I feel like every like 10th car is a U-Haul or like has a U-Haul trailer or something. That's something I just noticed. But yeah, it's really hot. I'm about to get the the engine started and uh, the AC back on and get back on the road. Probably gonna see how far I can go now. Maybe like another four hours from now. Um, I'll need gas. But yeah, I still have uh, three fourths of a tank of gas, so I'm not gonna stop for a while. Uh, probably the next stop will be when I need new gas. So um, somewhere in the middle of Tennessee. So yeah, I'll resume the video then. I'm at this truck stop, uh, almost in Nashville, I think like 60 miles away, and I'm not really tired yet, so I'm just gonna keep going. 
uh, see if I can get like through Mash Nashville, find another rest stop, maybe sleep there, or I'll just keep going. I mean, it really depends on when I get tired. Uh, I did just switch time zones, so my uh, clock up here says that I, it's 10 p.m. my time, uh, or Eastern time, which is, you know, where I was, and uh, right now it's actually only 9 p.m., and yeah, so far so good. Um, nothing really eventful happened, I've just been in the slow lane. Uh, even trucks pass me, I'm like by far the slowest on there. There's nothing I can do telling the, telling the, um, the car and everything, it's a lot of weight. Because even like when you're close to flooring it, it's just on the uphills it's so slow. Um, so this is taking a lot longer than I expected, but uh, it's been enjoyable. But yeah, I'll give a uh, another update the next time I stop. Take exit 213B, I-24 West, I-40 West. Alright, so I guess I just went through Nashville. I didn't really get a look at anything or even record because I was too busy. Um, like every mile I had to either get all the way left or all the way right to, to exit. Um, so it was kind of hectic. But yeah, just went through Nashville. And uh, as you can see right here, we're on the way to Memphis now. So hopefully we'll get there by the end of the night. Got a sandwich and a donut, but since I'm kind of blocking up the gas station, I'm gonna go to a rest stop to eat these. So I finally made it to a rest stop to eat. I mean, kind of a situation though. There's um, like the whole line of truck parking, and then there's a truck parked at like the exit at the very end. So after I have my sandwich, I, I'm literally trapped here. Let me show you. So like, there's all the trucks parked, right? And then at the very end, there's exit. Let me brighten it up. But there's a truck just parked there, so I'm literally trapped and I can't reverse. So hopefully one of these guys leaves. So I was just starting to get a little tired. I went to the past two rest stops and a truck stop looking for like a place to park. There was literally only one spot open and it was at the truck stop. And I would have had to back into it, which I'm not really comfortable backing up in this thing. Uh, plus it was sketchy, so I think in about 40 miles it said there would be another rest area hopefully there's a place for me to park there um, so I'm just gonna keep driving in until I get to that point and then maybe there uh, call it a night wake up in the morning and get back all right guys so I finally found a, uh, a rest area with like enough spaces so I'm gonna go to my car now I'm exhausted thankfully I found this uh, but yeah I'll explain everything in the morning and then we'll get back on the road Just brush my teeth and stuff in there. Actually extremely comfortable. All right guys, so I'm back in the truck. Um, I was expecting it to be like 100 degrees in here, but it's really not, not that bad. Um, but yeah, got about six hours of sleep, but not really because I woke up every two hours. So it was like three chunks of two hours of sleep. Um, but I'm feeling good. I'm not, I'm not extremely tired. I'm ready to drive all day, so. That's all I needed. Um, if you're wondering why I slept in the car, a couple reasons. One, so I won't have to worry about exiting the highway to find a hotel uh, and trying to maneuver the truck into some parking lot and finding a hotel that can even accommodate this truck and trailer. Um, also, it's just cheaper. Uh, truckers sleep in, in the back of their truck, as you probably know. Um, so I just put a little mattress topper in the back of the uh, S5 as you saw, cracked one window. I had all my plants in there too. Um, perfect weather, it didn't get too hot. Uh, this morning it was, but that was after I woke up so it didn't really bother me. So yeah, it's cheaper, uh, more convenient, and not that this is a legitimate concern, but I'm worried about someone like, you know, breaking or cutting the, the bolt for my the truck and just stealing my things. Uh, when I'm sleeping right here, I don't have to worry about it. Which could happen, you never know. So, this was easier. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing this alone, I had like probably three to five friends offer to do the drive with me just because, you know, it's something interesting to do. Um, back when I was going back and forth between uh, Vermont and Pennsylvania, it was just, it's just so much quicker and more convenient when you don't have someone else that 
you know, has to go to the bathroom at a different time than you, and you have to stop for them then. And uh, also with the whole sleeping situation right now, then I definitely would have need to, needed to have gotten the hotel. And lastly, I feel like people were overestimating how, how much fun it would be. Um, they probably thought I'd be, like, stopping at cool things. Um, but like I said, with the truck and trailer, you can't really leave the highway. So hopefully when I'm not in a U-Haul towing, towing a car, uh, I'll have some future road trips with some friends, which will be fun. Um, going to Mexico, I think, in a couple weeks. Not sure if we're driving or not yet. Uh, it's a little sketchy to drive there, but uh, we're thinking about it anyway. So, so I'm going to eat some Fig Newtons, uh, granola bars. I have a banana, clementines, a bunch of stuff, and then uh, get on the road. Like I said, we're actually, I don't know if I told you, I'm, I'm just east of Memphis. I didn't make it to Memphis. I had to tap out last night. I was very tired. Um, couldn't find this. Couldn't find a rest stop until this one, finally. This one's so nice, too. Tons. I was in the bus spaces. I'm the only one here. And I brushed my teeth and everything in there. And the, I guess the janitor just cleaned, so it was like perfect. Super clean, super easy. Um, so yeah, ten Tennessee's been very nice so far, uh, but we'll be leaving soon, entering into Arkansas, uh, Little Rock, um, and then I believe we go through parts of Oklahoma, followed by the little top part of Texas, and then um, I think like uh, two or three more states, and then finally we'll be in uh, Nevada. So stay tuned, uh, I'm going to need gas in a little bit, so... That'll be the next stop, but yeah, driving all day should be a good one, hopefully. Hopefully nothing bad happens. So here we go. Getting gas now. In Arkansas. I wander out of the valley Guys, I'm almost certain I just saw an armadillo, which I completely forgot was a real animal. The speed limit on this highway is 75, which is the fastest I've ever seen. Just stopped at another rest stop. I'm a little ways into Arkansas, as you saw, I crossed the, the Mississippi. My contacts were bothering me, so I put eye drops in my eyes. Uh, gonna eat something right now and then uh, back on the road. Almost in Oklahoma. I have my headphones on because I was getting a headache from all the, the noise in the truck. Just block out like everything, so it's really nice to switch these every once in a while. Plus, the radio sucks, man. It's just all ads. I don't know why anyone still listens to the radio if you have food or anything. I don't have an auction here, that's why I'm uh, listening to the radio at some point, but yeah. Nothing around us, just flames in the fire. Uh, just stopped again to take a break at this uh, overlook. There are a bunch of signs here, so I thought it'd be a better view, but there it is, that's the view they were talking about. That's the overlook. Overlooking whatever that is. Back on the road! I finally just crossed into Oklahoma. Uh, about to stop at the next gas station. I'm getting gas again. Back on the road again. I'm starting to look forward for the uh, scenery to start changing. Uh, just because it's looked like this for the past few hours, it's kind of boring. It looks like uh, Pennsylvania in a way. It'll be cool once we get, I guess, through Texas. It'll start looking more like the desert. Dude, there are, there are so many cows. It's been just only cows for like the past there's more over there. Past like 30 minutes. Just stopped again. I have sunglasses on and I'm still getting blinded. Just to update, I am in, uh, I just crossed Oklahoma not too long ago. I'm probably about, I don't know, 50 miles into Oklahoma. 
Uh, we're going to try to make it all the way through Oklahoma into that top part of Texas if we can tonight. idea how big Oklahoma City was. It's been like these crazy four lane highways with exits everywhere. Like it's like New York City or something. So I got gas at that shell uh, as you guys saw. Even though it's early here with the time zone difference. I'm really tired so I don't want to keep driving. And I know that at Walmart you're allowed to park overnight uh, if you have like an RV or something. So I found like an easy on easy off Walmart. Uh, in Elk City, Oklahoma is where I'm at right now. Um, but still having a dinner. So we just stopped at, uh, what is that, Butch's, Hutch's? I don't know, I'll find something to eat in there. And that'll be dinner, and then we'll get to bed. Got a sandwich again. There's Wendy's right there, but I don't really feel like fast food like that. This is perfect, I'm at the Walmart, and there's a bunch of RVs parked over here. So I'm just gonna join them. Time for bed. It's like uh, 9.15, just woke up. So I got a full night's sleep. I think I went to bed around 1.45. Could technically make it to Vegas tonight. Not sure if I want to though. You know, I don't have anything set up. Like uh, my bed's not set up. So there's, there's like n no point in rushing to get there. Like I said, I'm feeling like a shower. So I probably will find a hotel tonight along the way. Uh, maybe make it like a couple hours from Vegas, find the hotel, sleep, wake up, get there tomorrow morning or, you know, around noon. And then uh, have like the rest of the day to return the U-Haul, unpack. Just put my contacts in in Walmart. It was storming for at least a couple hours last night. The brakes got all rusty. Once I drive, it goes away now. But it's time to get back on the road. Uh, like I said, Elk City, Oklahoma right now. Pretty close to the border of Texas, so we're about to cross into Texas. Uh, probably within the next hour or so. So we're gonna go check it out. It's so windy here. It's crazy, it just goes on forever. Low key wanna see a rattlesnake. Alright, headed back to the truck now. I kinda wanna take the drone up, but it's really windy, so probably a bad idea. Uh, we're gonna get back on the road. There's just nothing as far as the eye can see. Like, there's one tree right there. That's it. Stopped at this uh, picnic area, about to eat some clementines and take a quick break. We parked the truck for a possible thumbnail picture. So far, Texas has been crazy. I mean, it all looks the same. And it's, it's mind blowing how many uh, windmills there are. It's like everywhere you can see. Look at this, it's scanning for a radio station and there's literally nothing. 
not a single one. It went through like twice already. It's crazy. I thought Texas had nothing, but there are at least like cows and windmills and stuff. But here in New Mexico, there's literally nothing. Like it just goes on forever, nothing. All right, so I just exited for gas. Uh, I'm at Valero. I wanted to go to Shell just because my rewards work there, but it looks like Shell is no longer in business. Um, so Valero it is. I'm in uh, San Juan. So I just stopped again. Uh, it's only been like 50 miles, but the scenery started to change. Uh, let me show you. So I pulled over for a bit because the sun was like right in front of the road. It was literally blinding me and like the windshield has stuff all over it. So see, yeah, I need to find a, a gas station with one of the wipers to clean that. But I've just been chilling here. It looks like the sun's uh, about to go down or at least it's not as blinding as before. Uh, so we'll get back on the road in a second. I'm just going to the bathroom real quick and, and uh, check out the view. See the sun setting. Alright, this is much better. Now I'm not getting blind. I wish I was in my car right now. This road would be so much fun. Just stopped again real quick. Thought he's bathroom eat some food. Look at the sunset man. You can't really tell with the camera but it's cool. I'm about halfway through New Mexico right now. Uh, I think the next major city that I go through is Albuquerque, uh, which is about 50 miles. Hopefully I can make it to the Arizona border uh, before I get too tired, sleep somewhere in Arizona, and that way I just have to wake up across Arizona and then Vegas is right on the border. So, but yeah, getting hungry, gonna find some uh, place to eat. So it's been probably two hours. Um, I'm still in New Mexico. I'm really hungry, uh, really need gas, and I'm kind of tired. So I figured I'd pull into the next major town, which is actually called uh, Grants, New Mexico, ironically. But yeah, just pulled in to get gas. Um, after that, I'm gonna find somewhere to eat and then find a uh, hotel nearby as well. All right, so I got gas. I was looking for a hotel uh, in this town. And they all seem really expensive, and there's there's no restaurants open or anything here. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep driving. I'm not extremely tired, so maybe the next major town we get to, I'll pull in and uh, look for a place to stay and eat. Uh, but yeah, I'm all filled up on gas, so we're good to go. All right, so Turn I just left on love. State Route 118. Uh, Subway sandwich. It's literally the only thing open here. And I found a uh, decent hotel, so we're gonna head there now. They got, I think, a piece of one room left, so I'm gonna go check in and spend the night. Walking into the hotel now. It's actually freezing out here. I didn't expect it to be this cold. It's windy too. Gonna eat my sandwich, finally take a shower, and uh, go to bed now. And then wake up around like 8.30, I think, for breakfast. Maybe come back, sleep for a little bit, and then hit the road. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. Just checked out of my hotel. Uh, I'm glad I got a hotel. Felt good to shower. And I got uh, breakfast this morning. So now I just need to stop at a convenience store before I get back on the highway. Uh, I ran out of water. I had like a 16-pack of Deer Park, and I went through the mall in like three days. 
So I'm just going to get like a big water. And uh, I think it's like six hours until Vegas. So I'll make it there probably right before U-Haul closes, hopefully. So I'm finally going to be able to get to see uh, what this side of New Mexico looks like just because it was dark for so long last night. I didn't, I didn't really get to see anything. Um, but in just a bit, we'll be crossing into Arizona. And uh, that's the last state we have to go through. So almost done. And I'm off. Like you have to, I'm like fighting into the into the wind to keep the truck straight because it just steers for you. I just realized the U-Haul closes at 5:30. Um, I think my ETA is 4:30, but I'm not sure if that accounts for the the time zone change. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna make it in time. I'd love to get to the U-Haul tonight, like I said, to drop the trailer off. See, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be moving at a lot a lot faster of a pace today than I was the past two days, especially yesterday. Yesterday I just kind of cruised. Today the views have been the same pretty much since I got on the highway. Every once in a while there's like some cool rocks near the highway, but the rest of it's just been open desert really. There's been like three trains like back to back to back. I think there's only one track too. And all the trains are in like a mile of each other, so I guess there's like a big convoy. Up ahead, I'm not sure if you can see it with the camera, but there's a massive mountain. It looks like it's got snow on it, which is the first time I've seen snow yet on the trip. Alright, so I've determined I'm not making U-Haul tonight. There's no way. I'm just going like uh, 10 miles an hour under the speed limit, which is the fastest this truck goes. Um, and my ETA just keeps going up and up, so it's about to pass the time that U-Haul closes. Um, so now I can slow down a little bit and you know, just take the views. Back on the road, as you can see, I just pulled over at the top of this mountain. There's a rest stop. Um, it looks like there's about to be a massive uh, hill. There's all these signs for trucks to like be careful. Still haven't seen a sign yet for Vegas, but we'll probably see one coming up. My engine sounds like it's about to explode. It's like uh, I went into higher gear to try to slow me down. So I just pulled over to reply to some texts. But about like 10 minutes ago, I saw a literal tumbleweed roll across the road, which is funny, because I thought that was like only in cartoons, but the real, I can confirm. I saw one and I saw like another one up against the fence. But we're about two and a half hours out from Vegas. Um, gonna keep going. officially coming to an end.
right, so I just pulled over. I'm about 100 miles out. Um, the sun is absolutely blinding like it was yesterday, even through the uh, sunglasses. So since I'm not in a rush anymore, like I said, I'm just gonna hang out here. I found like a little pull off area in the middle of the desert right here. All right, so it looks like this song went down or is going down. About to get back on the road, finish this, uh, this last hour up real quick. that. This is uh, surreal right now. It's starting to hit me that I pretty much made it. Um, and what what better way to uh, finish out the drive than, than the sunset in these views. The whole drive, I mean, today especially, has just been incredibly scenic. Um, I got about uh, 75 miles left until until my exit which is gonna be uh, right by the neighborhood and then I'm and then I'm officially there. So I've been on these windy mountain roads for like the past 30 minutes. Uh, I'm now only about 30 minutes out. Um, I believe the Hoover Dam is to my right. You can't see anything because Obviously it's dark, but I saw a bunch of signs and saw it on the map, so maybe I'll uh, come back and visit sometime. And it looks like right here we're uh, officially crossing into Nevada. Oh my god, I made it. Here it is. You can see the strip from, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I can see the strip from up here. This is all of Las Vegas. Wow, this is a really cool feeling. After four days on the road, finally seeing the, the city that you've been driving to. Wow, this is a crazy view. All right guys, uh, I, I just passed this trip. Uh, I'm headed towards West Vegas, which is where my neighborhood is. Um, probably not going to feel much as I try to, you know, figure out which way to go. Uh, once I get off the highway, it gets really stressful driving the truck. But it's been a, it's been a crazy journey the past four days. Um, but this isn't the end of the video yet. I will update you once I get there. Um, if not tonight, then tomorrow. One last stop, about 10 minutes from the neighborhood right now. All right guys, so it's been a couple weeks since I've arrived in Vegas. Um, if I'm being honest, it's been more than a couple weeks, probably a couple months. I've just been really busy with traveling and getting settled in. Um, but I finally have the time to get started on YouTube. So uh, after a week of editing, this video is finally finished. If you guys watched all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any feedback, drop it down below in the comments. Even if it's negative, I still wanna hear it just because I'm new to this whole vlogging thing and uh, editing and all that. But anyways, it was a ton of fun driving cross country. I uh, saw so many cool and beautiful sights. If you live in America, I definitely recommend, uh, if you can, just taking a road trip, even if it's only like through a couple states. Like I, I only went through eight states, um, but it was kind of all the way like straight across the country. Even though it was only eight states, it's crazy just to see how diverse the landscape was. And uh, I think that's one of the coolest things about our country is just, you know, you could go like two states over and it's just completely different. Like I went from the lush forests, like everything's green in North Carolina to like Texas where there's nothing, just fields and then mountains and then desert. So it was just really cool to see all that. You definitely have to take a road trip at least once in your life uh, across the country if you can. Um, but Vegas has been great so far. Absolutely love it here. I love the house, my roommates. Um, there's a lot of content to be made here. I'm gonna be making a couple videos. I leave for Bali in two weeks. So I'm gonna be making a couple videos um, between now and then. Probably a house tour, some lifestyle content, maybe like a day in the life, stuff like that. 
Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said before, thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched to the end. I know it's a really long video, but I wanted it all to be in one part. Um, and yeah, drop feedback in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Grant Clouser. Um, it'll be linked below. Um, and yeah, video ideas too. If you have any of those, drop those in the comments. Um, but that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Chris, you want to be in the video? Want to be in the video? Say goodbye.